changing into a digitized community. We are emphasizing on STEM. Children doing exceptional work in maths, ICT, science, and all the aspects of technology. Today we've had a great science exhibition day and you'll be amazed at the great work and display the children are putting across. The explanations, the level of confidence is simply out of this world. Welcome to a big preview of some of the projects. Hello everyone, my name is Navanita Das. I'm a student of year nine at Viraj International Academy. I have designed this obstacle avoiding robot for our science fair. This robot is made of this Arduino Uno, the motor driver shield and ultrasonic sensor, a servo motor, some DC motors, jumper wires, battery holder, power switch, wheels and a cardboard chassis. When the robot is turned on, the motors run normally and the robot moves forward. This ultrasonic sensor will continuously calculate the distance between the robot and the obstacle. If the distance is less than 15 centimeters, this ultrasonic sensor using the servo motor will scan in left and right directions to look for a new distance. If this new distance is more towards the left than the right, the robot will prepare for a left turn and vice versa. This process continues forever and the robot moves without hitting any obstacles. This is how it works. I'm Niyati from Viraj International Academy. This is year age here to present our project with my friends. I'm Naha Pindoria. I'm Sean Dennis. My name is I'm Ishwar I'm Hanya I'm Sam Kaki. I'm Kualata. I'm here with my friends to present the project. A model of a modern house. Let me ask yourself what this is. Well, we have, my team and I, we have uh, made a model of a modern house. What is the modern house about? These are the parts of the model of a modern house. We have two RGB LEDs, which stands for red, green, and blue. We have an RFID door lock which uses radio frequency technology. We have a servo to unlock and lock the door. And then we have jump, some jumper wires to make connections. We have an Arduino Uno R3 which is a development board. And we have a 220 ohm resistors. And then we have an I2C LCD display. The functions of the model of a modern house. Believe it or not, you can control lights directly from your phone. It has automated locks that automatically open and close the doors. You scan a card either to unlock the door or to lock the door. It has a screen that tells you if the door is locked or unlocked. You can also use a Bluetooth device such as a phone to unlock or lock the doors. Thank you for listening. I am a student in Viraj International Academy. I am in year four Simba and with the help of my STEM teachers and the support of my family, I have accomplished to make a simple steerable robot car. Hi Smita, how are you? Fine, thank you. Miss, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Do you want to explain to us your project? This is a simple steerable robot car. Do you want to demonstrate to us how it works? Here are the materials that were used to make this robot. We used two DC motors, a pair of wire strippers, two, dif two different kinds of wires, two mini breadboards, two mini push buttons, two AA batteries, AA battery holder, two robot car wheels. How we made this was, First, we soldered the stranded wires onto the DC motors. Two, we cut three long pieces of stranded wire. Three, we used the long wires to connect the two breadboards. Four, we put the batteries into the battery holder. Five, we connected the two push buttons onto one breadboard. Six, we mounted the DC motors onto the piece of cardboard we have here. Seven, we attached the wheels to the motors. And eight, we connected all of the wires as shown in the diagram below. This is the diagram of the bread 
board diagram. The robot's motors are controlled by an electrical circuit. This is a path that allows electrical current to flow. The motor spins when both of its wires are connected to a battery, which provides electrical power. The connections between the battery and the motor create a closed circuit, which can let current flow, making the motor spin. When one wire is disconnected, it creates an open circuit and it blocks the and it blocks the current it, because it can't flow through. So the motor stops spinning and the wheels stop stop moving. Buttons on the wired remote allow you to easily control the robot. When the button is released, it creates an open circuit. Using two buttons and motors in parallel allows the electric current to be split and follow through each button motor separately. This means you can control two motors independently. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Niveda Rani. My name is Kayla Dutra. My name is Jocelyn Kaur. We are year five from Viraj International Academy and we have a presentation for the science fair of digestive system. The mouth, it starts digestion and the parts of the mouth include the tongue, teeth and saliva. The tongue assists in swallowing, the teeth will break down the food and the saliva will also break down the food but the enzymes and everything. We have the oesophagus immediately after the throat. So the oesophagus contracts and uh, expands to squeeze the food down into the stomach. The stomach, it breaks down food into a liquid that is very similar to porridge. The small intestine will take the porridge-like liquid from the stomach and will break it down into even smaller parts until it can be absorbed uh, from to the blood as nutrients. The large intestine um, uh, takes the undigested food and it absorbs the water and other substances uh, back into the blood. And uh, lastly, we have the anus, which is the solid undigested food that is pushed out of the body. We hope you learned something new today. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jack. Um, from, year, in, from year 10, um, I'm studying World International uh, Academy. So this this is the one of my project right now. So, so you can see the the fire is not burning the plastic bag because the heat is absorbed by the water in the plastic bag. The temperature of the plastic bag cannot reach the international point, which also tells up, tells us a story. Water is protecting the bag. The bag is protecting the fire, but the fire thinks the bag is protecting the water. So many times, many things are not what we imagined. It's like it's bouncing there and it has not been cooked, has not been fired or whatever. So, cause, cause it was be with the white vinegar inside. White vinegar reacts with the eggshell to make it disappear, producing carbon dioxide and water in the process. A raw egg, the shell gradually sinks after 24 hours, 24 hours or 48 hours. The shell is basically dissolved. All that, all that is left is the film on the inside of the shell. How it works, action are made of calcium carbonate and the uh, the bound up from action set, set in vinegar uh, carbon dioxide bombs created by the dissolved reaction. Hello, today we just had one of the best days with children uh, displaying the exceptional skills in the STEM department, maths, science, technology, ICT, and uh, you will be shocked at the level of confidence with which the children are explaining their projects. We 
be a rearing to go and this is a great performance on our part. Thank you.